The Wallace Sword is a weapon that has been on display at the National Wallace Monument in Stirling, Scotland for over a century, and is said to have belonged to the famous Scottish patriot, William Wallace. However, recent statements by experts in the field have called into question the authenticity and historical accuracy of this claim. William Wallace, also known as Braveheart, was a Scottish knight and warrior who led the Scottish resistance against English rule in the late 13th century. He is best known for his victory at the Battle of Stirling Bridge in 1297, which marked the first major victory for the Scottish against the English in the First War of Scottish Independence. The National Wallace Monument, built in the 19th century, was erected to honour Wallace and his contributions to Scottish history. As part of the monument, a sword was included that was said to have belonged to Wallace himself. The sword, known as the Wallace Sword, has been on display at the monument ever since. However, recent statements by Dr. David Caldwell, outgoing President of the Society of Antiquaries of Scotland, have called into question the authenticity and historical accuracy of the claim that this sword belonged to William Wallace. Dr. Caldwell, a retired curator who worked with National Museum Scotland for 38 years, stated that the sword on display is a not very good example of a two-handed 16th-century sword which was acquired in desperation to link the monument to Wallace. According to Dr. Caldwell, the sword was acquired from Dumbarton Castle, where it was said to have been left after Wallace's imprisonment in 1305. However, Dr. Caldwell claims that the association with Wallace only goes back to 1803, when William Wordsworth and his sister Dorothy visited Dumbarton Castle, and were told by a soldier that it was the warrior's sword. The National Wallace Monument's information about the sword states that it is believed that the sword was left at Dumbarton Castle from 1305 after Wallace was imprisoned there, and a mention of Wallace's sword later appears in accounts of the Lord High Treasurer of Scotland in 1505. However, Dr. Caldwell argues that the sword is not a good example of a sword from the 13th century, and that the association with Wallace only comes from the Wordsworth's visit in 1803. This raises questions about the authenticity and historical accuracy of the sword on display at the National Wallace Monument. While it is certainly possible that the sword was associated with Wallace in some way, it is important to consider the evidence and expert opinions before making any definitive claims about its origins and connection to the Scottish patriot. It is also worth noting that, despite the sword's questionable authenticity, the National Wallace Monument remains an important and meaningful site of historical significance. The monument serves as a tribute to the memory of William Wallace and the Scottish resistance against English rule during the First War of Scottish Independence. The sword itself, while possibly not the weapon of William Wallace, is still a fascinating historical artifact in its own right and can serve as a symbol of the country's rich cultural heritage.